question number 16, we are told find in radians the values of x in the interval 0 radians less than or equals to x less than or equals to 2 pi for, for which 2 cos squared x minus sine x is equals to 1. Leave, your, leave the answer in terms of pi. So in this question, we are going to try and see whether, since this is our e uh, equation that we have been given, 2 cos squared uh, x minus uh, sine x is equals to 1. Uh, we, can see, we can see here we have two unknowns, that is cos squared x, uh, cos, cos x and uh, sine x. Uh, so for us to be able to make this equation have one unknown because we cannot solve an equation that has two unknowns uh, unless we have more than uh, one uh, or two equations. So in form 4 trigonometry 3, you learn that sine squared uh, x uh, plus cos squared x is equals to 1, that identity. So this identity is going to help us to uh, be able to work out uh, this question. So if we take uh, sine x to the other side, then we have uh, cos squared x, uh, that is we take this across the equal sign to the other side, it will be a is equals to 1 minus sine squared x, and therefore we can replace this part here in place of cos squared x and that is going to help us to uh, simplify or to solve. So this is equals to, we said to, instead of putting cos squared x, we now put 1 minus sine squared x, uh, you close the bracket, minus sine x is equals to 1. Now we have one unknown. We open the bracket, we say it is 2 minus uh, here we have uh, 2 uh, sine squared x minus sine x is equals to 1. Uh, let's take everything to the other side, that is a cross equal sign. So this will be positive. We have 2 uh, sine squared x, then we have plus uh, sine x. And then we have 2 will become minus, uh, so we have uh, uh, plus uh, 1 minus 2 is equals to 0. So this is going to help us and we will be able to get, uh, this is uh, 2 sine squared x uh, plus sine x. Uh, then uh, 1 minus 2 will be minus 1 is equals to 0. Uh, so we see this is a, a form of a quadratic equation. And uh, to make it uh, work, we can say that x is equals to sine x, implying that uh, then we have uh, 2x squared plus x minus 1 is equals to 0. Now this is in a, in a very familiar format uh, which you can say you get two numbers such that when you add them you get 1 and when you multiply them you get minus 2. So these two numbers are 2 and uh, minus 1. So we rewrite our equation and say this is 2x squared uh, plus 2x minus x minus 1 is equals to 0. You factorize, you have 2x, and then we have x, uh, x uh, plus uh, 1, and then we have minus 1, we have x plus 1 is equals to 0. So these factors are, we have x minus plus 1, and we have uh, 2x minus 1. So that is, is equals to 0, implying that x is equals to minus, uh, we have minus 1, or x is equals to a half. So once you do that, uh, then we should be able, and remember we had said that our sine, uh, our, our x rather, is equals to sine x. Uh, so what we do, 
since we had assigned our our x is equals to uh, sine x, it means uh, sine x is equals to minus one or sine x is equals to a half. Now the angle whose sine is equals to minus one, we can say is uh, okay let's start with the half the angle whose sign is uh, we can uh, just write it uh, here the angle whose sign is 30 is uh, a half is 30 degrees 30 degrees you convert to you convert to uh, pi that is you say it is uh, uh, 30 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 pi and that will give you uh, the, 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 the value here, it, is giving, it will give you pi over 6. The other angle that uh, is uh, uh, a half is, uh, we can say it is minus 1. It is uh, 150, no, the, uh, a half is 150. So 150 degrees, if you convert to radians, uh, you'll be able to get that is 150 over 360 times 2 pi you get 5 pi over 6 uh, that th those are the angles that satisfy x is equals to sine x is equals to a half uh, the angle where we have uh, uh, x at uh, the sine x is minus 1 is 270 uh, you convert that 200 of 70 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 pi it will give you 3 over 2 uh, pi. Sometimes, because we, most of the times we work with the degrees, uh, getting this pi direct, the, 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 the x, x directly in terms of pi, sometimes it is uh, problematic. Uh, or rather, we are not used to working with pi so much. So that is why I normally convert from degrees to, uh, to radians so that you can be able to get the angle. And that is how you get that angle. It has taken us time because we are revising. Otherwise, some steps like once because you are used to solving quadratic equations, you can just write these factors directly from here when you write the quadratic equation uh, and uh, like that. But it is important if it is if it is uh, okay that uh, you just do the, the follow the whole process and you get the answer, then that is good. Uh, there is no problem because the examiner will just award marks where uh, it is due. So, for example, uh, this you get one mark there for the answer. Uh, you'll be able to get uh, one mark here for converting the the equation. Uh, that is, this equation to have one unknown. Uh, you have uh, one mark for forming the equation. Those are three marks. You have uh, one mark for getting the uh, the uh, factors of x. So that is how you solve that uh, question. Get more of this, uh, subscribe to this channel, then click this icon to get the notification whenever I produce a new video. You can call or WhatsApp me if you have any questions or you want to book an online class.